Hey guys, Garanon here, and welcome back to my channel today. Yesterday was a pretty exciting day in Destiny, and this was because the first section of the challenge mode raid was released. For those of you who are not aware, they are actually doing this challenge mode uh, raid in three different parts, and it is very similar to the Tier 3 Court of Oryx, as the challenge rotates each week. So, week 1, this week, is the War Priest, and I expect week 2 to be the Golgoroth challenge, and the final week 3 challenge to be Oryx. Alright, so let's break down this War Priest fight. So you have to reach War Priest very normally. You know, you have to do the uh, the basketball or whatever you want to call it. That's what my friends call it. We do the uh, ship jumping and then we you have to do the uh, totem room too. So you have to do all three of those and actually get to the War Priest. It does not spawn you in directly at this checkpoint. And this challenge is actually optional in a sense. You can beat the War Priest normally without meeting the parameters of this challenge and it will let you continue the raid normally. So I recommend having another person grabbing the checkpoint or another character just in case. Uh, just so if you accidentally mess up somewhere along the line and you complete it, then you can just switch over to there and grab that checkpoint. The challenge this week is actually quite easy. You just have to kill the War Priest without the same person getting the brand of the Initiate twice. Any number of people can die. It can be done in any number of rounds, up to four of course, because you can't do it any more than that. Any order of the relics or the uh, the different plates can be taken. Pretty much anything can happen as long as the uh, different people grab the aura each time. This is a really easy challenge and it should be done easily in two rounds, maybe three if your uh, team's light level are lower or if enough people die so you actually have to take an extra round to finish them off. Now for the good part, the rewards. Now if you beat this challenge on hard mode, you will get rewards from normal and hard mode, which is really nice. I managed to beat this challenge on hard mode on two different characters, so here are my rewards. On my first character, I received the Calcified Fragment for the challenge, the Emblem for the challenge, a 320 artifact, a 310 artifact, a 320 machine gun, and a 310 sniper. For, uh, those were really solid rewards, and I was pretty excited about that. And on my second character, I also got the Calcified Fragment and the Emblem a 320 and a 310 artifact, and a 320 and a 310 raid sniper rifle. It is really easy to see the pattern here, so when you beat this challenge on normal, you will get a 310 artifact and a 310 weapon drop from the boss. I guess in future weeks it's not going to be a weapon drop, it's just uh, something from that boss's loot pool at max light level for the uh, the normal raid, which is 310. And when you defeat the challenge on hard mode, you will get a 320 artifact and a 320 drop from that boss's loot pool. So all in all, these are great rewards for such an easy challenge. I definitely recommend you guys going to get a team together and doing this because, uh, I mean, even me, I bumped my light level up from uh, 314 to 316 just like that. I mean, it took like 20 minutes to do both. So it is a really easy challenge, and I definitely recommend you guys do it. But that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like rating and share this video and my channel on your social medias. These actions let me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm producing and help my channel to grow. Let me know what you guys think about this challenge in the comment section below. Is it too easy? Uh, was it difficult for you? And how were your rewards? Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Click the annotation on screen to watch that video if you've not seen it yet. It deals with the quality of the Refer Friend Program rewards and how they actually surprisingly aren't that good. Follow me on Twitter, keep up with all news dealing with this channel, and finally subscribe for more Destiny content, and I'll see you guys in my next video.